Rose out of the new CEO of my equipment came in and she took a look at our portfolio company wide, all products, not just local looks, not just desktops, but screen calls, all these kind of brands, commercials, photoshop. And you know, she realized we're very excited. And you know, there's no consistency across all of our products. I don't know what is resonating as much in the Okay. So she came away saying, I want to lead, I want to be consistent, and I want to stand out. And there's a deck here, you'll see bits of what I'm talking about. I'm not going to speak slide or slide, I'll just give you a high level. So is it to differentiate or to create an identity? To create an identity. So really what came out of that meeting was uh, starting to centralize design across the company. And that initiative was, was uh, in partner with our current people, which was designed Stacey Wolf. And the outcome was to be uh, designed to want to build that consistency. So it's, it's it really relates to us being forward thinking now. Okay? And part of that, what you'll see in the design is this kind of, to, to allude to that, is this kind of forward gesture. So we're continuing to evolve the wedge taper uh, to build on that mobility and that thinness aspect of the design. You're going to see this kind of forward leaning stance, this, this angle here, you know, as if we're moving forward. Um, and by the way, that also uh, works within our refresh of the HP brand as that uh, leans forward as well. The other company, I have customers coming in through our studio almost on a weekly basis, and it's it's a it's a real headache for their IT guys, right? And uh, you know, so employees now want something sleek, sexy that they can be productive on, but also be proud to carry and take home. So that that starts to allow us to bridge the gap between consumer and commercial product and, and drive more of that consistency that we're talking about, right? So, I mean, if you look here, I've got, you know, one of our SMB notebooks for the commercial uh, vertical markets, and then I've got consumer, and you're starting to see, uh, when I talk about harmony or harmonious in the five language, that consistency con conveyed in the brand, you know, a couple years ago, you may have seen five different logo sizes across our products, right. different different uh, execution. When you start to look at the touch points of the products, something as simple as a power button, okay? You know, consumer electronics, when I pick up devices, where's that power button? And we may have been consistent in the past as well. Now we're driving that to the forefront. So on uh, notebooks, it's going to be consistent. Same proportion type of uh, shape or design. Our customers are going to know where to find it. But not only on notebooks, this is just, you know, for this table that we fit everything here. But as you walk around the room, you'll start to see some of the products catching up to the five desktops, all in ones, where you'll see that consistent shape of the power button uh, across the world. So what you'll see, and actually what you probably saw at the previous table, is here's a prime example of us innovating a stamping process to create multiple sides of the part. What that's done, I think you heard before, is we've re reduced part count on, on some of these products. So what may have been a three or four part makeup for this area is now one part, right? And again, that helps us look at the honesty of design. We're not designing details just to design. Okay, we're bringing those touch points to the forefront. The power button, something like the audio, very important to our customers that are Skyping or using software. Why hide the audio drivers within crevices of the product? Bring it to the forefront in an optimized area that relates to the screen and what have you. The last part is iconic, right? And you know, we can't design the product, throw it on the table today, and say, that's iconic. iconic happens over time and again part of that statement of we need to be consistent and become relevant so as all these elements that you know I just spoke about become more recognizable to our customers that'll be a kind of iconic and create an overall brand identity similar to like the automotive industry where you look at grills on a car and instantly you know that brand you know you'll you know it's HP you know and, and lastly the, the the second part of iconic for us is the unique thing about HP is you know again it's not just the aesthetic the form factor the material but it's also how we create new standards and innovate uh, form factor, for instance. Um, we're moving forward, but we're, we also work with what's been working for us in the past. So on notebooks, for instance, uh, again, talking to that four-lean stance, the wedge shape has evolved over early 2000s. Yeah, and, and exactly. In fact, I have a, a slide right here that kind of shows you the evolution, optimizing the design for thinness and mobility. It was quite thicker at the time, but as we've evolved, we're starting to build and refine that and become more honest uh, in the approach. So really, you know, that 
combination with the Decentralization IT, it emphasizes that mobility as a strong bar. And that stance is also conveyed within our own ones to start to see how those angular surfacing approaches are conveyed across our product group line, again, not just on the notebook side, for instance. And then I think, again, you know, recognize what goes back to what I talked about earlier. It's, it's now that, that HP brand, how we handle it, uh, again, up front on the product, um, you know, even to the secondary level of detail of saying we're proud of where we come from and here's our name as well. Just a nice level of execution on the product. Uh, you know, new touch points for HP. You know, here's a commercial product. It's no longer just a, a, a big brick that has the tech specs in it. Okay, we've got, you can feel this as well. We've got this nice soft touch feel for our customers.